Hi everybody. You might have noticed that there is a new netcode patch for Street Fighter V that's been floating around. And it's only for PC. Uh, there's no way for it to work on PS4 because it's a third party patch. It's completely unendorsed by Capcom. In fact, I don't even think they know about it yet. Uh, it's only been a couple hours since it was released. But I played a couple matches with Kaoma from Brazil. And the difference is pretty convincing. We were about 6,000 miles away, and we went from a complete rollback slideshow fest into something that kind of resembles a playable game. I mean, I've actually had matches that were supposedly five bars that were worse than this. And so I'll show you how to how to install this. So it was published on Reddit. And there you can get I will also have the the link to it in the description of this video. But basically if you download it, do not download the source code. The source code is only a, a verification of the code itself if you're a coder otherwise there's, there's no point in you uh, downloading it whatsoever so you get the sfe netcode fix right and the the method to install it is pretty simple you're going to go to wherever you have your program files directory usually most people have it in c drive right go to program files x86 you go to steam you go to Steam Apps, you go to Common, and then look for the game. Here you go, Street Fighter V, and you put it in here, okay? Um, so there's two of these files. There's this one, Netcode Fix Master. That's the source code. Don't, don't fuck with the source code. There's a bunch of stuff here that um, I made the mistake of accidentally installing the, the source code stuff, and I can just honestly just delete this shit. Um, don't need it. However, this right here, the netcode itself, if we examine the archive, you can see here there's engine, binaries, third party, physx, apex-1.3, win64, vs2013, Visual Studio 2013, and there's these two files here, Apex Framework Profile x64 and x64 original.dll. And I believe this is what allows you to roll back um, if the other one didn't work. But no, or or it'll erase it. Anyways, if you really you should probably back these files up before installing this. Uh, here's the entire um, path of the files. Uh, if you just take out the this part, the engine binaries third party apex win64 vs 2013 part is going to be the same. Um, then I would highly recommend you making a backup of those files. However, if everything hits the fan and you forgot, that's okay because there is an option to see here local files you can verify integrity of game files and it will reinstall delete any files that don't match and then reinstall them based on a hash so don't worry about that so anyhow on it, when you do this we're going to extract extract here it'll ask you to replace these files so yes if it did not give you that option to replace the files you either are doing this in the wrong directory because there's two street fighter 5 directories here um or you got the wrong file so it's wrong directory or wrong file so if you got if you ended up having the overwrites then you did it correctly and you overwrite those files and keep in mind that there are reports of 
this not working so well with PS4 players on their end. And I think, uh, here we go. So I played with No Good Citizen, Oops. and this is basically how it looked for us. Well, this is how it looked for him. My side was perfectly fine, but his side was a complete rollback lag fest. And keep in mind, we also played PC mod to PC mod with no problems whatsoever. So the mod works really well if both players are on PC using the mod. It also works pretty well from PC mod versus PC non-mod. It does not work well between PC mod to PS4. That is just... That's just unfair. So, from what I understand, Altimore, the dev, is currently working on a, uh, on a method to detect whether or not the opponent or the other player is using the mod or not. And that means you don't have to worry about screwing up the the experience of a PlayStation 4 player if you're using the mod. It'll just automatically turn itself on or off. So that is what the status is uh, right now. And you can also support the mod. Uh, he's He just brought this out last night. So, um, so let's see here. What did he say? Oh yeah, he said it should be possible to handle unmodified clients in the same regardless of platform. So yeah, let's see how this ends up turning out. We don't know if Capcom is going to release a statement or try to get this shut down or just kind of look the other way, which we're all kind of hoping for. But yeah, it's, it's up. You can play with it right now. Play with your friends in other countries like everyone is going to be hitting cfn tonight and tomorrow because this game is actually fun to play again i'm not even joking so good luck if you've got questions ask in the comments and i'll try to help and uh, have fun